Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is TheFaceTest Artist and welcome back to Project Zomboid. In this video, we'll be taking a look at all of the handguns that can be found in vanilla Project Zomboid. Basically all of their pros and cons, how rare they are, are they any good, would I recommend them, etc, etc. First of all, we're going to start off with the Magnum. Now this is the Magnum. It uses... <coughs> Where the hell is the Magnum? It uh, uses 44 rounds, 44 Magnum rounds. It is the loudest gun out of them all, and it is also the strongest gun. It cannot jam, it doesn't require any magazines. It, uh, it has the highest minimum damage of any handgun. And it has the highest range as well. It's very slow to reload compared to magazines, uh, compared to pistols with magazines. It is the least accurate of all of the handguns, and it is also the loudest handgun. So there's that, so that is for the Magnum. Now the next one we'll be taking a look at is the M625 revolver. Uh, basically it cannot jam, it does require magazines, and it deals higher damage than most handguns. Slow reload, low round capacity. It is not extremely loud, but it's still noticeably loud. And it can be found almost anywhere. It's basically in any houses with nice stands you'll be able to find it. Well, the Magnum is a bit more rare. And it uses the... 45 outer rounds and it can hold six rounds and basically on both of the magnum and the m625 revolver you can attach either the iron sight or the red dot i have attached the red dot now we're just quickly going to go ahead and basically test fire it okay perfect now here is the magnum Now have maximum aiming skill and maximum reload. So that's why I am popping off the way I am. But it is a solid gun. The red dot sight uh, will allow you to actually aim much faster. While the iron sight will increase your firing range by 3 tiles. But the magnum is the loudest gun in the game but it also packs the most punch and it is extremely fun but the rounds for it are a bit rare so only use this for fun basically when you have no choice okay let's actually take a look at the m625 revolver there we go as you can see here the sound is a bit different it is still quite loud uh, I didn't actually mix them up, did I? No, I did not. Good. The 45 rounds are much more common because basically almost every house has a freaking revolver. So it is loads of fun. It has quite an increased range when you compare it to the Magnum. But it's still no rifle, but as a handgun it will serve its purpose without fault. There we go. So either one of these is a good addition to your arsenal. And they're both extremely fun. Okay, the next two guns that we'll be taking a look at is the M36 revolver. Which is a nice small little revolver that uses the DOT 38 special rounds. And this particular one holds 5 rounds. It is a small pistol, but it cannot jam, it doesn't require a magazine, it is the quietest firearm, so up to 30 tiles away the zombies can hear you. It has the highest accuracy, the lowest weight, and the gun and ammo for it aren't really hard to find. And it's the best handgun for survivors with low uh, aiming skill. So this is a perfect little piece for you to actually pack 
uh, when you're a lower level or once you're leveling up. But if you're looking exclusively to level your aiming skill, you should focus on the shotguns. But this is a nice little piece for those oh shit moments. Now the next one. Now this is a beauty. And it, it is one of my more favorite guns. It is the DE pistol, otherwise known as the Desert Eagle. Now this one I actually use as a kind of a different mechanic. Now basically, uh, in order to actually fire this, you will need magazines for it. And in order to load magazines, you will need to insert bullets into it. So you go right click on it. Uh, okay. Right click on it, insert 8 bullets into magazines, or if you have more magazines, you can just right click on this and actually fill up magazines. There will be options here. Now basically once you have it, if you hold the R, you'll be able to insert the magazine. If not, you can just press R and he will, and your character will actually go ahead and just load the magazine in so just go ahead bam bam you can press X uh, X to rack it if that's something that you would like to do there we go we're just going to load the magazines in there we go now this gun can jam and when it jams you need to press X H no it's not H it's uh, the, the thing that you use to close the windows you know this X my brain is kind of frozen but in any case it has one of the highest damages of any handguns it's kind of tied with the magnum it's tied with the M625 revolver for second highest stopping power it's one of the best handguns for luring zombies away from an area and it's compatible with more gun attachments than the Magnum revolver but you need a higher aiming skill for this one to pop off it's the second loudest one and it has the second lowest accuracy it requires magazines, it's capable of jamming and it uses the 44 Magnum rounds now you can put either the iron sights or the red dot and you can also put a laser now it can be found almost everywhere, you can actually find it in houses as well, it's not really that much of a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I often find a couple of them whenever I'm out and about just looting. Uh, the ammo is a bit of a problem because boxes only contain 12 rounds approximately. And that is a bit mushy, you know. It is a bit tricky because it uses high caliber. It has incredible stopping power and the sound is just mm, freaking beautiful, man. I would definitely recommend it for the later game, once you actually have a lot of the magazines. And we're just going to go ahead and use them. So let's actually go ahead and open up the map. I'm just gonna go over here. There, you, there we go. Okay, so okay, no, it did not jam. So basically, the magazine is empty. Now we're just going to need to go ahead and take care of the zombies. Then we can just hold down the R, and he will, and our character will load magazines into the uh, that is load bullets into the empty magazine. That is all that we have. There we go. And now we'll be able to actually, you know, fire at them. For a little bit anyways. Uh, basically, this gun isn't really viable with only two magazines. In all honesty, you need at least five or six of them. But in any case, let's switch to our trusty revolver. It has a high fire rate, it's very accurate, the reload is quite decent. And the ammo you can find it in plenty of places, it is very common. But as you can see it's a very good 
Now this is a uh, basically an entry level gun, and this is what it looks like once you've maxed out the aiming and reloading skill. You can basically fire it off as a freaking machine gun. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this has been fun. Okay, the last two are the M1911 and the M9. Now the M1911 uh, has seven rounds in it. It can also jam as well as the M9. It uses the 445 auto. It is not that common, but it's not that rare either. The M9 uses 9mm, it is also semi-automatic. An inch magazine holds 15 rounds, it can also jam. Both of them can accept either an iron sight or a red dot and a laser as well. Now, I personally prefer to use the M9 over the 911. Uh, 1911, my bad. Uh, simply because it is more uh, reliable. I kind of really like the... So here is the 1911. Alright. You need to put the magazine in. Uh, with the attachments. Uh, both of these guns don't deal that much of damage. But they're good in a pinch. If you really want a magazine based pistol. I mean the 1911 is a classic, there's no doubt about it. It will serve you well. They're both fairly loud. Somewhere in the middle. In all honesty, it's better off that you just use revolvers. Okay, yeah, there we go. But hey, if you really want to use the 911, you can. It's not really that bad. The 45. Also, you can find that fairly recent. This you can find it fairly well. Now the M9 uses the 9mm. The 9mm is really good. Yeah, the sound is a bit better. It does sound a bit louder, but it's approximately the same. And it holds 15 rounds. Of course, both guns can jam, but... In all honesty, I would prefer not to use the M1911 unless I really had a choice because the M9 is just that much better and 9mm rounds are more common, commonly found than pretty much any other rounds. Overall, it's uh, both guns are fairly good. They're fairly, you know, average, but I will stick to the revolvers and the E later on. But both of these guns can actually run you towards the late game as well. It's not uh, really the end of the world. Okay, let me just go ahead and eject these magazines. Although with these magazines it is a bit hard. If you're in a prolonged firefight or something with magazines it's really, you know... It's really a pain in the ass. That's what I wanted to say, because <laughs> you have to run around putting bullets into magazines, then you have to put the magazine into your gun, then fire it. Okay, it would appear I have run out of zombies here. But yeah, in any case, that's it for pistols. I mean, pistols are great. You can just put them in your holsters, and... I would always recommend that you pack at least one pistol. Ah, oh, great. I have plenty of zombies there. <laughs>